most mandatory programs, the administrative funding is on the mandatory side as well, and we propose to s switch the funding for the state disability determination systems uh, over to the mandatory side of the budget so that SSA can actually do their job right, uh, which will, we think, on, on net, actually save money to the federal government because they'll get the benefit decisions uh, um, more, more accurate. Um, but the second thing we, we, we work on in this proposal is uh, trying to figure out how we can develop a system of support for the people who can go back to work, but today are, are, are ending up on, on, on DI and, and typically for the rest of their lives once they start. And uh, as Laura said, that's something where we think there are a number of good ideas out there, but we actually don't know the one best solution that should go nationwide at this point. We're basically in the same kind of situation we were with wel welfare reform, let's say in 1980, before all the states did their experimentation, uh, we did all the pilots, and then eventually by, by the mid-90s we thought we knew enough to do welfare reform. We basically need to unleash that kind of experimentation in the disability insurance system. And so what we call for is three types of pilot programs. Um, and, and the basic idea behind all of them is the earlier you intervene, the better. If you wait till someone's already receiving benefits, especially given how long it takes to get through the application process, uh, they've been detached from the labor force for a long time and it's too late. And so you want to intervene before people are actually receiving benefits. So the sort of last moment you can intervene uh, and have it be before they get benefits is when they apply for benefits. And so one kind of pilot we propose uh, would be to target uh, a subset of the DI applicants who look very likely to get benefits, but also like they have some capacity to go back to work and to offer them in exchange for dropping their application uh, for DI, instead uh, they would uh, get a package of, uh, of, of assistance that would include uh, support at uh, getting back to work, uh, an EITC like uh, uh, wage subsidy and, and, and some other things. Um, so that's sort of one type of pilot we need to do. Uh, but we also think we need to do pilots uh, based around firms that give firms a better incentive to try to keep uh, their workers employed rather than putting them uh, onto the DI system. And we also have to give states the incentive uh, to package all the different federal uh, streams of money that come to them to deal with the um, disabled population uh, in more creative ways uh, and, and give the states basically shared savings so that if they can produce savings for the federal government by doing a better job of keeping people off these federal programs, the states would actually share some of that benefit. Uh, 